going on guys brown here and welcome to the start of a new series here today on my channel called the f1 classic academy this is the series where we take the genetic the generic drivers on the game that no one really cares about we throw them into a championship and see what they can do see in the background here this is the calendar start off at zanvoort go to holland then vietnam Japan short just to mix it up a bit Baku, Bahrain, Monaco, Canada, America, Australia, Austria, Singapore and to kick it and to round up the season with some classic races of Brazil, Italy, Belgium and finishing off the calendar in, in, at Silverstone this is the second send 100 AI that's what I run in my career mode 25% race to mix things up no qualifying just pure wherever we start that's what we've got to deal with let's get into the first round then just 14 corners 10 to the right and four to the left the main straight is 678 meters long and heads into turn one the tarzan corner with drs down the main straight into the braking zone that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track so on to the grid now then and this is the grid so you ready for me to butcher some names so Carrera is on pole followed by Moreiro then it is in Zeta Belovia Moreiro Foster Sarari Cassibia and then it's us in P8 there we go then the five lights go out and we are underway here for the Classic Academy Season 1 of I hope many we have a good start trying to go around the out down the inside there of one of the 2010 Ferraris we're trying to go around the outside of the Bourne there and the Bourne breaks later we force him out wide but he does this all the way around the outside there's a 2010 Ferrari just behind us there goes the Bourne past the 2010 Red Bull there of Foster of Bellavia rather and we need to get ahead of this Red Bull we are much quicker than Bellavia I think that's his name I, I don't know but through the kink now can we do anything break late go a little bit wider try and get down the inside and couldn't do that bit of an oversteer but we had the pace and so this is what we've got to do a break late go down the inside force him out wide and we get the job done there on lap four and up the road next is the is a 2010 ferrari here comes the other 2010 ferrari around the outside the red bull's not giving up though they're side by side now the mclaren's all over the back of him can the mclaren get the job done our teammates it pulls out to the outside they down towards turn one and around the outside at the and gets the job done there the red bull dropping like a stein and this is what i love about these classic races that when you get held up obviously these cars all here were in one season which spices things up as this was the replay of the move then great camera angle down the inside force them out wide and in that just left the run for the Ferrari and we are on the back of the other 2010 Ferrari off at Casilio and I'll be looking to get through them quick because up the right but by three seconds is a uh, Braun GP car I think it is but we are closing 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 and what and what I really like about these classic cars is you can't obviously there's no DRS everything is equal apart from the stages of of history where each year of the cars which means you, have, you really have to work for a move you can't just simply send it to fling the RS open and away you go you really do have to work for it which I really enjoy because doing a DRS move is, is kind of boring is it as we go wide there we try and cut back we couldn't quite get the exit though I know thing is about these classic cars you get to listen to the roar of the V8 
as we break late, go round the outside, we've got better traction, we're on the kerb, side by side, trying to go round the outside of the 2010 Ferrari, we're still there, but he squeezes us out, and we're going a little bit wide, they lose the back end, and we can't, we're going to have to sit behind and wait a little bit longer, this 2010 McLaren is so bad at low speeds, the back end, you have to be so careful on the throttle, because the rears just like to spin up as soon as you put any sort of power down um, at low speed we're defending other Ferrari but we really do need to get the hurry up here on lap 8 obviously 25% puts that little bit more pressure on getting through the pack as now we try and go round the outside of the Ferrari we've got better traction we touch wheels there and now down the inside we have to back out of it, he gets the exit, we get a big tank slipper. We're going to have to wait again, one lap later. We are all over the back of this Ferrari. And we are going to send it very late, clip the curb, try and go round the outside yet again. This time we've made it stick, big oversteer moment. But we're up into P6. And, but now we've lost a lot of time, seven seconds at the road is the next car of Fostet. This is a replay off the move then we just got great traction out of the chicane and breeze past the the Ferrari. And now hopefully we can break away and we have here. Uh, we found one second and someone is out of the race. There's 19 left in it. We set a purple sector one. As we come towards the end of sector two. And we've found a lot of time, two and a half seconds we've found, but we've taken a big chunk of curb. We're into the gravel, we've knocked out of the RS board. And the whole night of Ferrari gets us back. And all that work to get past him. And now down the inside, our teammates have a look at us. But all of that work to get past the Ferrari, get a gap out, is all just gone out the window there with that big mistake. Try and send it, the Ferrari locks up, trying to get down the inside at turn one. Couldn't do that. Our teammates have no look at us now. We try and squeeze them out. Round the outside. We defend them now. We go late. Try now to get the power down early. Try to, to do what we did earlier on in the race and have a go around the outside. We couldn't do that. This time, we are pushing him around the corner. We re-overtake him. With just five laps to go, we go back up into P6. And now we need to try to get away again. The gap up front now is now 12 seconds near enough. And this onto the final lap of the race. The winner then is Moreno in his 2004 Ferrari. That Ferrari blistering quick in a straight line. The two quickest cars, I think, is the Braun and that 2004 Ferrari. We round the final corner. We're going to finish in P6 to round out this the first race. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. For what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula One. So that is it, the Formula 1 Classic Academy round 1 is done and in the books, you can see then the results, these videos a little bit shorter, depending on the action obviously, we don't have to go for qualifying and everything which makes it a little bit better, and I really do enjoy the fact that it's wherever the game puts us, so it may be if you want we could go put it on one shot and see what happens, but I really enjoy the challenge of if the game puts us in a bad position getting back through the field but guys if you have enjoyed the start of this series and you want to see more make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one